Ozzy Jerk joins us now for a look at real estate. Hello, Ozzy. How are you doing, Irene? Good, thank you. So it's December 1st. We're taking a look back at November's numbers, and you are amazed by how good they were. Yeah, I mean, we should remember last November was an awful month. I mean, it was probably the low, but we're up 253%. We did some 800 unit sales last year, and we're going to clock in around 3,100 uh, this year. So huge increase. At the same time, our prices have risen from 509,000 to 620,000. So if you bought a house last year, the average house in Vancouver, and you just paid, say, 15 percent down on that $75,000 down payment, you would have made yourself over $100,000 profit. And if you looked at the average used home price, which was $726,000 last year, it's $877,000 today, and that's up 20 percent. And the average used condo soared from three thirty nine dollars to four fourteen. So even though it was a lousy November last year, it really has become an excellent November this year, and the difference is that anybody that bought last year made money. Now, when we, we're looking at no, uh, Vancouver, and that is, in this case, specifically Vancouver, or is it all of Metro Vancouver that it's we're talking of, about? It's all of it. This is really right. from Mission to, uh, to Lions Bay, everything uh, from condos and so on. If you went on the west side, the average price now for used home is well over a million eight. Now, let's take a look at um, the Victoria numbers because we have those as well. Yeah, and Victoria also, it, it's not as spectacular, but it's still a 125% increase in sales, a 40% decline in listings, which is about the same for Vancouver, and then the same price is from 4, 545 back up to 617. So, quite a bit of an increase for any buyer there as well. I remember, Ozzy, when we looked at the numbers for October, you were surprised as well about how good they are. Maybe you're surprised again at how good November's numbers are. Again, do you think it can continue like this with the prices going up? Well, one thing we should remember that these prices from last year were really the low, the nadir, the bad time. We had higher prices in early 2008, so we're now about 2% above where we were in, say, the March 2008. So we're back up to where we once were, and we're just going beyond that. I don't think we're going to keep on going forever, but as certainly the market has turned into a much more stable, normal market. So were our house prices now are higher than they ever were at their peak before the global economic downturn. We were talking about how unaffordable it was yeah. then. Does, does something ever have to give? Well, one thing is we always talk about affordability, and that may apply everywhere in the world, but not in Vancouver. We haven't been affordable for 23 years. In fact, UBC has a statistic out that shows for over 20 years our average affordability rate was around 60%. So you want to live in downtown Vancouver or Hong Kong or London or Manhattan, you have to pay much more. All right. You have a brand new book out, Ozzy. A brand new book out. It's called Real Estate Action, and you'll find it at Real Estate Action Book, the realestateactionbook.com, and we have a really a local book, 55 action takers in it from Cameron McNeil of McBulk, and Michael Campbell has written a fine foreword. We have Shell Buzzy on innovations. We talk about investing in the States, auctions, foreclosures, any subject, from electricity to plumbing, anything you would want, we have a chapter on it. It's a fantastic book, and so if you go to, like I said, realestateactionbook.com, We'll sell it to you and we'll send you the shipping free. How much is it? It's twenty four ninety seven. All right, Ozzy, thank you so much. Just in time for Christmas. Good timing. Absolutely. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. If you have any more questions for Ozzy or you'd like to purchase a copy of his newsletter, you can reach him at www.jurek.com.